In this episode, I'll take a look at creating a coffee stain in Inkscape version 0.46. The idea for this episode came from one of our viewers who actually sent us quite a few topics for screencasting, so maybe we'll use some of those suggestions in the future. A coffee stain is sort of an ideal project for screencasting because it doesn't take long to create. So let's get started. Alright, a coffee stain. Uh, what does a coffee stain look like? Well, ahead of time, what I've done is taken a picture of my very own coffee stain. Uh, um, and this is what I came up with. This is an actual photograph of, of some coffee that I spilled on the bottom of my coffee cup and I just pressed that onto my paper, moved it slightly, and then just picked it up and let it dry. Okay, and this is what we, this is what I had left. Okay, so we're going to try to recreate this type of uh, shape here in vector. All right, so we're going to move this off to the side right now, and we're going to see how close we can get. I'm going to zoom up on my page, and I'm going to draw a circle. I'm going to hold my control key down so it's nice and round. And there are several ways of doing this. Uh, one of the ways that, that uh, we can get that ring shape is just to add a stroke, a thick stroke, and uh, convert that to a path. But I think what I'm going to do is just right click on this and duplicate it, give it a different color, and just scale down just a little bit. Okay, I think that's probably what I want. Just a little bit more. Alright. Now what I'm going to do is select both of them. Go to Object, or I'm sorry, go to Path, Difference. Okay. Now when I double click on this, it's already a path. But it's a little too round, so what we're going to do is I'm going to select this. We're going to go to Effects, Modify Path, and we're going to add nodes. And I'm going to add a maximum segment length of 3 pixels. So I'll hit Apply here. Now when we double click it, we have lots of nodes all the way around here. Okay. Next thing I'm going to do is go to Effects, Modify Path, and we're going to jitter that path. And I'm going to start with a, uh, let's start with a 5. And hit Apply. And you can see how that kind of dirties up your path a little bit. Okay, kind of jitters that up. Okay, that's what we want, but we don't want it so extreme. So what I'm going to do is select this, and we're going to hit Control L on our keyboard to simplify that path. Okay, I think that looks probably pretty good. Now what I'm going to do is right click on this and duplicate it. I'll give it a different color just so we can tell the difference here. And I think what I'll do is put it about like that and I'm going to select both of these and we're going to do a difference. Okay. Now I have this shape. I'm going to select this. We'll go to path and we're going to do a break apart. Okay. And you want to make sure that you delete all the little artifacts that get left if you have them. Okay, so all I have is two shapes now. Now what I'm going to do is take this smaller shape and we're going to scale it up. We hold our control shift key down. And I'm trying to get it about the same scale so we have something that's round again. I think that looks probably pretty good. And I'm going to take that and rotate it. Okay, and what I'm trying to do is create kind of an opening down here so we don't have a full round. Now, there's no wrong or right way to make a coffee stain. Okay, If, if you want to see how they're done, just spill a little bit of coffee on your desk, uh, rub your coffee cup in it, and grab a blank piece of paper and start stamping. Okay, And you're going to see how different coffee stains <laughs> can look. So there's no real... Uh, uh, right or wrong way to make a coffee stain. So they, they are what they are. Okay, so I'm going to take this now, and I think that probably looks pretty good. That's that's our stain. I'm going to take it and rotate it just a little bit more. Open it up. Okay. Alright, now what I'm going to do is combine these shapes by 
actually not using combined, but using a union. Okay, that makes it into one shape. Okay, now that I have it in one shape, I'm going to hit Control L a couple more times. Get it just a little bit rounder. All right. Now what I'm going to do is repeat a couple steps. We're going to go to Modify Path, Add Nodes. Um, let's add. Let's do. Let's keep that at three. I'll hit Apply. Okay. We've got a lot of nodes around here. You can see in our status bar, we've got 745 nodes. That might be a little too much, but we're just we'll just leave it. We'll go to Modify Path again. We'll go back into Jitter Nodes, and this time we're going to make this 1.0, and I'm going to hit Apply. Okay, now that's a little too fine. Let me undo. We'll select this again. Jitter Nodes. Let's try 2.0. Okay, that's a little rough. Let's try one control L to simplify. Yeah, I didn't like that. Let's keep it. Let's keep it like this. Okay, we this is a little rough over here too, so alright. So there's our coffee cup stain. So now we're gonna make it uh the same color here. Now what I'm using down here is the Ubuntu uh color palette, and I like to use this uh human color tan right here and I like to give it probably this uh, color here this accent yellow for the stroke okay now I'm gonna move this kinda close so you guys can see it and I'll zoom in on this and you can kinda see what I'm going for okay and that's probably pretty close let's zoom back out Let's get this thing a little closer to something that's a little darker over here. Okay, and you can see that it's pretty close. Alright, so what we're going to do, and again, you can keep finagling with your uh, coffee stain here and kind of give it irregular shapes. Um, it all depends, and you know, when you're stamping this stain on a piece of paper, if you move the cup, you know, you're going to get these little things right here. If you just you know, stamp the cup and leave it alone, you're going to get a nice round shape. And it looks a little, to me, it looked a little unreal, okay? So, I have this shape right here. So we're going to take this and we're going to delete that. We don't need that anymore. I'm going to take this shape and we're going to scale this down just a little bit. And we'll zoom back up here. And we're going to push this off to the side, okay? That was our coffee stain. But now you really need to apply it to something so it kind of get that stain effect. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a piece of paper. And we're just going to fudge this. That looks about right, okay? So we're going to get rid of the stroke and we're going to make this kind of white here, okay? The next thing I'm going to do is... Let's see, I'm going to kind of do this from memory. My kids just started school last week, so I just bought them some paper. So let's see if I get this close. Okay. Now, let's true up this piece of paper. Let's make this uh, 400. Now let's make this, let's do an undo there. Let's make this 450, and let's give it a height of 560, okay. And let's make this stroke 450 wide. Okay, that's probably pretty good. I'm going to select both of these, and we'll align this. And I'll push that stroke all the way over to the end here. Okay, now what I'm going to do is... We're going to change the color of this to kind of a light blue. I'm going to duplicate this. And we'll move this down about right here, I think. Now what I'm going to do is select both of these strokes. We're going to go to Effects, 
and I think it's generate from path, interpolate. And I think what I'm going to do is try putting about 20 in there. And let's see what uh, exponent and uh, interpolation method uh, will give us. Okay, that's not what I want, so I'm going to hit undo. We'll make this 0. Okay, we'll select both again. And that's not quite what I want, so we'll do 0 there. Hit apply, and that's what I want. Okay, so we're doing 0, 20, and 1. Okay, with everything else unchecked. All right, that gives us our lines. Now what I'm going to do is we're going to make this margin thing over here. And I'll come down here about so and hit enter. Okay. This was 460 high, so I'm going to make this stroke 460 high. Oop, I mean 560, sorry. We're going to select our stroke, our page going to go to align and distribute and I'll move that up okay so our stroke is at the top there all right and I'm going to zoom in on this just a little bit and we're going to make this stroke color kind of a light pink I'll take that and duplicate it and duplicate it again okay and we zoom out on that and that kind of gives us our paper. Now, it might not be perfect. Again, just doing this by memory. It's close enough. Um, that is our paper. So what I'm going to do now is everything is a little dark on it. So I'm going to zoom in on these. Whoops. I'm gonna actually going to take this and ungroup it. Okay, there we go. Take all those lines, and we'll give this about a... Uh, let's try 60%, a little bit more. We'll move the transparency down, okay, so it's not quite so bright. I'll do the same for for these pink lines. I'll make that 50%. Okay, and that kind of fades it out a little bit, all right? Now I'm going to take this whole page here, and we are going to group that, okay, so I can move that around. Now what I'm going to do is duplicate this. And we're going to rotate these pages just a little bit. Get something about like this. Okay. I know it's a little hard to see. Uh, let's get this back into view here. And let me zoom up. But uh, basically what I'm trying to do is just create some pages here. Now, if you wanted your page... This is loose leaf page that I just have drawn. If you want your page a little uh, jagged at the top, what you could do is repeat the step that I used here. We can You can draw a stroke across here with your Bezier path tool or your pen tool and uh, add nodes and jitter that and combine that to your page and that'll kind of give you just a jagged edge at the top here to make it look like you tore it out of a notebook. Okay? All right, now what I'm going to do is... We're going to zoom out. We're not quite done. Let's add some more. Let's add some doodles to this page. Okay, we'll get this out of the way here. And we'll go to our text tool and we'll just type some random text here. Okay. And we'll go to our text dialog box. And I'm looking for this Brian Powers doodle. I'll hit apply. That's a doodle font that I got from defont.com. And let me, let's see here. I'm going to take this and duplicate it. And I'm just going to look for the things that I want in here. That looks like a good doodle. Again, a little hard to see, but I'll zoom in on it in just a second. And... Zoom in here. Let's pick this one down here. 
Okay, so I got some doodles. Now what I'm going to do is zoom this up. We're going to rotate that just a little bit. Okay, we'll put the doodle on the page about right in here. Doesn't really matter where you put your doodles. We'll zoom in on this one. this doodle up here somewhere and we'll zoom in on this again these are just kind of some random things that someone might have drawn on their page okay and we'll do something about like that, that looks like a good doodle okay and we're gonna take this one here and let's see if I can do a stroke to path and let's see if I can add some nodes. Okay, that adds quite a bit. And we're going to take that now and we'll go to modify. Same thing, jitter nodes. Uh, we'll try a two. Two, we'll add a stroke here, kind of thicken it up. Rotate it. Okay, these are just random doodles. These are the things that most people draw when they're on the phone. <laughs> I know I do. Okay, but they're a little dark. Doesn't really look like pencil lead, does it? So we're going to take these now and let's try a dark gray. Right, even lighter. That looks pretty good. I think I, I like that color. Okay. Oops. We don't want to change the stroke. We want to change the actual fill. That one we might go a little darker there. Colored that one in. And maybe this one will go a little dark. Okay, so we got some doodles. Now comes our coffee stain. And our coffee stain's a little big. We're going to drill it down just a little bit more. And we're going to bump up our stroke so we can see it. But in order to make this coffee stain right, what we need to do is go to our layers. Okay, and we're going to add a new layer. We'll call it coffee. We'll make it above everything else. We're going to highlight our coffee stain here and we're going to use our shift page up to move that to a layer. We're going to do a modify, or I'm sorry, a multiply for the blend mode and we're going to make it just a little bit, the opacity should be, oh, let's try 90 for the opacity. I don't want to do much there. And I also want to take that and blur it ever so slightly. Let's try a 0.5. Okay, and when we move that on our page, zoom in and we'll take a look at this. We kind of want that coffee stain to blur a little bit. We're going to take this. Actually, I think I have that stroke a little bit too big. There we go. And maybe we'll try control L. There we go. Let's rotate that just a little bit. Okay, now if it's if your paper is a little hard to, to see, what we can do, let's zoom out here. Had I cloned the paper, I wouldn't have to do this to both of them. What I'm going to do, it won't matter for this screencast, I guess. I'm going to make this just a little bit dark on the stroke here. Oop. I'll give this like a 2.5. I'll do the same here.
That way that coffee stain, you're going to kind of see the, the page go through here, okay? So we can move that coffee stain. Make it look like it was just sitting down on a couple pieces of paper here as we were doodling. Okay. And let's grab all that. Yeah, we'll leave it. We'll leave it. Okay, I think that's what we wanted to achieve here. Okay, so again, the coffee stain. It takes a little practice, and maybe this coffee stain is a little too round for my taste. Um, it kind of, it's kind of nice if you get some kind of irregular shapes in here. Uh, again, like we saw in that uh, my coffee stain picture here, to kind of get these irregular shapes. Um, and that's just things that you can add to this shape. You know, you can draw a little uh, an ellipse or in a circle or and combine it and uh, just jitter the nodes up a little bit, and you'll get kind of something like this. And you can also use your Bezier uh, pen or your node tool to move nodes around, okay? So that's what we were trying to duplicate. Okay, I think it looks pretty, pretty close, okay? We added some doodles. Maybe you want to add other things to this. So what we could do is uh, we could throw in a pencil here. Let's zoom out. Actually, that pencil's on the wrong layer. We're gonna move. We're gonna do a shift page down. Okay, let's move our graphics out here. Whoops. We're gonna do an undo. Okay, and we're gonna get that pencil back in here again. And I'm not sure if I have that pencil. Okay, what I need to do, um, this pencil is a JPEG. So what we need to do is cut around it. Okay, so what I'm going to do, zoom in on this, and I'm going to go through this real quickly. Okay, we'll just go around this and we'll cut that white section out. Okay, then we'll select our pencil, the path, and we will do a clip. Okay, I'm going to take this pencil, we're going to zoom it down just a little bit. Zoom back up. This is kind of fun to grab things like this off the internet. You can just throw them into your project. Okay, and if you wanted a little shadow, what you could do is uh, grab your Bezier tool, kind of trace around here. We'll go out to about right here. I'll hit enter. And we'll make this about two for the thickness. And we'll give that just a little bit of a blur. We'll try a one. And we can drill down its opacity a little bit, try like an 80. That gives us just a little bit of a shadow. And there we have it. That's our project. I think I'm done adding stuff. Okay, you could go ahead and add some more. You can put a little pink pearl eraser in here, do whatever. But this is our doodle. And basically, uh, the screencast was about the uh, coffee stain. Um, I think we've duplicated it there. Again, uh, make yours any way you want. It takes a little practice to do it, to get it quite right. Um, it seems like every one that I make... Uh, uh, sometimes I get good ones, sometimes I get bad ones. So uh, maybe this one isn't particularly the greatest one, but uh, it's a coffee stain nevertheless. So thank you for watching. I'm Heathen X.